doesn't help. <laughs> Sunglasses don't help. Good evening. Welcome to the 1,342nd Hootenanny. <laughs> yeah. Um, we've got two more weeks after this here, and then we'll be on a little break until sometime in June, and then we'll be out at Dornan's. Um, big thank you to Andrew for hosting us for this month. It's yeah. been... <laughs> It's been wonderful. I think as musicians, we all appreciate how lovely it sounds in here. And big thank you to Andrew's crew, uh, serving us goodies and, and um, welcoming us. And there are, after our big soiree on Saturday, the Marmot Fest, there are still some cookies and sweets over there. So go help yourselves. And as is always our tradition, if he is here, well, he's, he's hurrying. <laughs> I'll talk very slowly. <laughs> Bill Briggs starts us off. So please welcome Bill Briggs. A couple of ski songs. Now I'll do this one. <clears throat> we got a pretty good list of people for tonight. Yeah. <clears throat> when we'd run out of snow back east, we'd go up on Mount Washington, the White Mountains, and climb up and ski down there. Uh, Tuckerman's Ravine was the po most popular place. You climb up and ski back down. And then sometimes we'd have a sing at Joe Dodger's place at the bottom of the, well, it's at the top of Pinka Mat uh, Pass. Um, or we go down to the Harvard House. But it was never consistent. You never knew where to go to get the music. And it's so nice to have a place to go to play.
Jump turns and Christie's and Telemarks. And the sons many of such. But I leave them all to the canon. For I like my drinking too much. times I had the heebie-jeebies when I was skiing. Um, mostly, the biggest one was the first time I skied down Rendezvous Bowl, which took half the day, as I recall. <laughs> All right, up next we have, oh, you don't have your big friend? Okay, we won't say anything about that. Um, so we have Mark Memmer. Warm-up act, huh? <clears throat> Got any Moe's Allison friends out there? Fans? Yeah, I'm one of them. For years I've done his greatest hit, which is your mind's on vacation, but your mouth is working over time. But I don't have my bass, so I'm going to do another equally great song. Seldom heard, as far as I know, I'm the only one that, <clears throat> that does it. Hope I can remember the words. And it's a perfect song for any political time or climate or period of human occupation of this planet. And it's called Ever Since the World Ended. It goes like this. Well, ever since the world ended, I don't get out as much in people that I once befriended. They just don't bother to stay in touch. Ideas that I once found so splendid, they don't seem to matter today. Do, do, do. 
It's just as well the world ended. It wasn't working anyway. Though ever since the world ended, there's no more Bible Belt. Yes, remember how we all pretended, yeah, running around and lying about the way we felt. All the rules have been amended. There's no one keeping score. It's just as well the world ended. Couldn't have taken much more. Look out, John Kozlowski. Boom, 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 boom. Triple X, Got it. What's with those jazz foundation guys? <laughs> yes, ever since the world ended. There's no more black or white. Yes, ever since we all got blended in that big old thermonuclear reaction. There's no more reason to fuss and fight. Dogma that I once defended, it no longer it seems worthwhile. Ever since the world ended, I face the future with a smile. <laughs> what me worry? That's it. Uh, here's another one I do. Uh, try and do a couple times a year. Hopefully I can remember it. So this is the Juba song. This is a, an important song. It goes like this. Well, Juba this and Juba that. Juba kill the yellow cat. Juba up, Juba down. Juba dancing all around. Juba. Well, we grind the corn, you give us the husk. Well, we bake the bread, you give us the crust. Well, we cook the meat, you give us the skin. And that's how Juba began. So Juba, J-U-B-A, is the word that the slaves gave to the crappy food that they were given. Pig's ears. Snouts, tails, feet, tripe. So they, you know, they used a little musical therapy to deal with this insult on top of injury that none of us could even imagine. And they made a song out of it that you could laugh about, or at least sing some of the blues away. And that's where Juba came from. So, Juba this and Juba that, Juba kill the yellow cat. Juba up, Juba down, Juba dancing all around, Juba. Well, we grind the corn, you give us the husk. We cook the bread, you give us the crust. We cook the meat, give us the skin. That's how Juba begin. So the thing about it is that, just yell out if you've been to Congo Square. I hope someone has in here. Congo Square? 
National Historic Site, foundation of much of our popular music, where all the slaves used to drum at night in New Orleans. So there were some rebellions, and they felt that the slaves were using drums to communicate and incite. And they probably were. So a lot of the drumming got banned on some of the plantations, so you come up with the hand jive thing. Or, And this beat became known as the ragged beat. Instead of one, two, three, four, you got this triplet thing going on. And that ragged beat, after a while, because you could dance to it, you go on YouTube, you see all this. That's where I learned it. Became ragtime, second most popular worldwide dance behind, after the walls. Big part of our popular music. And Juba this and Juba that, Juba killed that yellow cat, Juba up and Juba down, Juba dancing all around, Juba. We ran the corn, you give us the husk, we cook the bread, you give us the crust, we cook the meat, give us the skin, that's how Juba begins. All right, everybody, <laughs> yeah. hey, you can join me if you want, last time. Juba this and Juba that. Juba killed that yellow cat. Juba up and Juba down. Juba dancing all around. Juba. Juba. Mark Memmer, that was really cool. And, and some history lesson in there, and some good, good rhythm. That was Mark Memmer. Uh, up next, we have a hot mic. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> this gentleman, he, he's amazing. He, he has only been playing for how many? Hold up the number, hold up the fingers. Only four years. Yeah, I've been playing for 20 some years and I'm not that good. Please welcome Noel Trask. Well, Mark has rhythm and I don't really, so this is a little different. Um, it's been a while since I saw, um, sang a uh, depressing Jackson Brown song, so it seemed like a good time. So. Okay, so Siri, I don't want you. Go away. Go away. Okay, there. All right, um, so it's, this one's called Song for Adam. It was on his first album um, from 1970, so a long time ago. I sit before my own 
only candle But it's so little light to find my way Now this story unfolds before my candle Which is shorter every hour As it reaches for the day Well I feel just like a candle in a way I thought I was gonna get that Well I guess I'll get there but I wouldn't say for sure. When we parted, we were laughing still as our goodbyes were said. And I never heard from him again as each our lives we led. Except for once in someone else's letter that I read until I heard the sudden word that a friend of mine was dead though Adam was a friend of mine I did not know him long and when I stood myself beside him I never thought I was as strong still it seemed he stopped his singing Well, I'm not the one to say I know, but I'm hoping he was wrong. I'm holding out my only candle, though it's so little light to find my way. Now this story's been laid beneath my candle. And it's shorter every hour as it reaches for the day. Yes, I feel just like a candle in a way. I hope I'll get there, but I'll never pray. That last little bit was for Mark. So. All right, I would like to ask, uh, welcome someone up here on the stage. Um, he sent me a text the other day and said, I'd love to sing with you. And I said, really? That's awesome. So without further ado, this is Charles, who's going to play a song with me. This is, uh, it's um, Avid Brothers, Laundry Room. So I had to find something where, you know, it's two dudes doing rhythm. So... Uh, and then we like them also. Can you see that? Okay, actually, I was over here. Yeah, this is good. This works. All right. Okay. All right. So it's called um, laundry room. All right. I hit that. So oh, I need one of these. Hmm. That works. I can't 
keep no secrets. I wish that you would always stay. Last night I dreamt the whole night long. I woke with a head full of salt. I spent the whole day. I wrote them down, but it's a shame. This tired old routine. I'll break this tired old routine. And this time don't make me leave. And this time don't make me leave. I am a breathing time machine. I am a breathing time machine. I'll take you all for a ride. I take you all for a ride. I am a breathing time machine. I am a breathing time machine. I'll take you all for a ride. I take you all for a ride. Don't push me out. Stall your mother Disregard your father's words Thank you, thank you Charles It's Noel Trask and Charles DeMagno. Nice sounds. So uh, Saturday night, that was a pretty special concert the Marmots put on. And our next uh, singer is Dave Rossiter. And the truth is that he's responsible for Ben. <laughs> and he brought Ben around to the hoop in the late 90s. And then I'm not sure how much longer it was um, before Matt Mantain uh, got Ben to play the mandolin. Uh, but here we are 20 some years later and uh, look, what's, uh, look what they've done. It's just incredible. So Dave Rossiter and I assume some friends, but they're hiding out. Marmot's uh, thing right here, just to, that's pretty cute. So as, back. Let's see, as Ben Montaigne just said, actually, you're irresponsible for me. <laughs> Good point. Uh, ben and I have been playing music his whole life, and Amy, since she got in part of the family, so this is the last hoot I get to do with them before they uh, move to Maine. And uh, so this is kind of special to have them along with me. And just, so to start that off, just no pressure at all, we're going to do a song I just taught myself today and just taught them about five minutes ago. So we, this is, um, my wife Pam and I live down in Tucson, pretty close to the uh, border. And uh, a lot of people have heard about the border crisis, but they don't really understand what it's all about. Uh, because they think just people are pouring over the borders and look out. That's not what's going on. Most of them are actually going through uh, proper channels and getting processed and sent off to their sponsors. But there are a significant percentage that do cross the borders over the deserts. And now that the heat is setting in, uh, there are going to be a lot of dead bodies again. And that's what the real crisis is. And this is a Guy Clark song, kind of from that point of view, called El Coyote. No, 
Hermosa, there's a beautiful river that shines in the Mexico sun. There are boats and they cross from one side to the other at dusk when the hot day is done. They're there from Acuna to Del Rio, Texas, Uvalde up through San Antonio. With the pesos I've saved and the years that I'll trade for the chance to send dollars back home. Coyote, coyote, que siste cabron. Coyote, man, what have you done? You took all our money and left us to die in the heat of the South Texas sun. Coyote, Casey Stickabroom. But he steps out of the shadows, won't look in my eyes and his hands how to take all I've got. And he says that he smuggled a thousand good men and he says that he's never been caught so with 17 others braceros like cattle packed in for a long final ride in the semi-truck crossing the border it's dark and it's hot as an oven inside coyote coyote Casiste cabron, coyote man, what have you done? You took all our money and left us to die in the heat of the South Texas sun. Coyote, Casiste cabron. are asking in whispers why the truck stopped in the heat of the day. At the first sign of trouble, he's left us all there by the road and he's walking away. Coyote, coyote, que si este cabron, coyote man, what have you done? took all our money and left us to die in the heat of the South Texas sun. Coyote, Casey, stay cabron. Thank you, Drew. That, that line, Casey, stay cabron, means, what are you doing, you bastard? Really. So we're going to bring up some friends more friends. We're going to do a song that we've been writing and playing and doing and revising and changing as our family changes for about 20 years. And, uh, and it's a song about my mother and about her not so well behaved dog and about our family hanging around at our place south of Wilson, the Circle Shoe Ranch we like to call it and singing music with all our friends there. It's kind of about all those things. So I've played it here before, but again, on this special night with Ben and Amy, I want to do it one more time. And uh, you all can join in. It's got a chorus. When I go, heading up, you all answer. Heading up. And we all go, heading up the old pass road. And it kind of goes along that line. So please join along with us. This is a takeoff of an old a uh, mountain saw called Down the Old Plank Road, but we've modified it and written some new words. And uh, this is up the Old Pass Road. Dinah, you're a good old gal. Dinah, you're all right. 
Dinah, jump into the van, you're gonna be a sight Out where you can see the sun and where the walking slow We'll leave the leash and take a bag, head up the old pass road Heading up, heading up the old pass road We'll leave the leash and take a bag, head up the old pass road Well, Pam, get the word out Get the word out quick. We're meeting down at the hoop. We're gonna sing and pick. Don't need to practice. We'll hit every word and note. We'll hoop and howl and yodel up the old pass road. Heading up, heading up the old pass road. We'll hoop and howl and yodel up the old pass road. Well, I work all day, all strapped in, trying to figure out what's said. I'd like to know what's real and what's just in my head. After all the delays and ready to land that load, we'll throw my dog into the van, head up the old pass road. Heading up, heading up the old pass road. We'll throw my dog into the van, head up the old pass road. Well, birdies up the old pass road, kind of sitting on her ass. Looks like her summer's ended. Dog knocked her in the grass. Hip. Well, you better call the ambulance. That knee won't carry her load. Pick her up, throw her in, take her down the old pass road. Take her down, take her down the old pass road. Pick her up, throw her in, take her down the old pass road. Well, birdies approaching 80, but her spirit's rather perky. You all took good care of her. We all think you're worthy. Mom kept her string. She was ready to end that episode. The next summer, she came roaring back up the old pass road. Heading up, heading up the old pass road. The next summer, she came roaring back up the old pass road. Opened up circle shoe, we're coming down tonight. We'll gather in the mountains and remember with this old. And we'll leave the leash and take a bag, head up the old pass road. Heading up, heading up the old pass road. We'll leave the leash and take a bag, head up the old pass road. Heading up, heading up the old pass road. We'll leave the leash and take a bag, head up the old pass road. Thank you. Thank you all for joining me. That's Dave Rossiter and friends. Part of the real fun of the hoop, it works especially well out of Dornan's in the summer, is groups just getting together, deciding that sounds pretty good and getting on stage. Maybe they rehearsed it two times or something. And in many ways, that's the way the Marmots came about. Isn't this a great place for singing and for listening? A little dose of reality is like Saturday night costs us $700 to turn the lights on and to use the building. And with the hoop, we have much the same need to help defray the costs of, the, of this wonderful setting. And so, Starting this week for the rest of April, it's $5 per night per person. Babies under two are free. <laughs> but uh, that's to be musicians and non-musicians. Oh, and so with the first two hoots we had here, Jackson Hole Coffee Roasters uh, put some money out, which uh, meant that the musicians didn't need to pay. But anyway, that's, uh, we also have a table full of cookies over here still. 
uh, left over from Saturday night. So next up is Bob O'Brien. Okay, sorry to steal your glory there. <laughs> so, uh, this first song is a, a um, original, and uh, I wrote it for my wife. She's not here tonight, so I can confess. I, I can't remember whether it was the 25th or 30th anniversary, but... Since we're going on 44 this coming May, I guess it doesn't matter that much. one is uh, written by Jackson Brown and Glenn Fry. Heading down the road, trying 
trying to loosen my load Seven women on my mind Four that wanna own me, two wanna stone me One says she's a friend of mine Take it easy Take it easy Don't let the sound of your own wheels Drive you crazy Lighten up while you still can Don't even try to understand Find a place, make your stand And take it easy Standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona Such a fine sight to see Screw my lord in a flatbed Ford Slow down to take a look at me Say maybe, hey babe, I gotta know if your sweet love is gonna save me. We may lose and we may win, we'll never be here again. So open up, I'm climbing in and take it easy. Trying to loosen my load A world of trouble on my mind and Looking for a lover that won't blow my cover And she's so hard to find Take it easy Take it easy Don't let the sound of your own wheels Make you crazy Come on, babe Hey, babe Don't say maybe, babe I gotta know it Sweet love is gonna save me Thank you All right, that was beautiful. Thank you, Kevin. Um, next up, we have Bob O'Brien. Looks like you're ready. Yeah. It's time for you now. <laughs> I tried uh, standing up using a strap like all the cool guys do here. Uh, and the geometry is just all wrong, so I have to work on that. I was talking to Mark about playing uh, sort of rootsy or old-timey sort of music, and I thought, I don't really know. Oh, look at how cool that is. Uh, that. And then I thought, well, no, I, have, I know some, maybe roots of a different sort of shrub or something like that. But um, So I've been, I went back through my old uh, online guitar archive stacks of things, if you remember that, Olga, and uh, pulled out a couple songs that I... Hadn't worked on it in a long time. This is a, a Mississippi John Hurt song. Gonna have to 
country in the cold sleet and snow. Up the country in the cold sleet and snow. Going up the country in the cold sleet and snow. Ain't no telling how far I might go. Make me a pallet on your floor. Make me a pallet on your floor. Make me a pallet. Down soft and low, make it where your good man never go. The thing about just learning, getting these lyrics down, I'm, you're reading them going, who are these people? Like, they, they were not hanging out in the suburbs of Chicago in the late 60s, I'll say that. Um, yeah, anyway, this is another one. Rolling my sweet baby's arms, rolling my sweet baby's arms. Hang round the shack till the mail train comes back And I'm rolling my sweet baby's on Don't want to work on the railroad Don't want to work on the farm I want to hang round the shack till the mail train comes back And I'm rolling my sweet baby's on Rolling my sweet baby's on Rolling my sweet baby's on Around the sack to the mail train comes back and rolling my sweet baby's on. Where were you last Friday night while I was lying in the jail? Running down the streets with another man, you wouldn't even come and make my bail. Rolling my sweet baby's on. Rolling my sweet baby's on Lay around the shack till the mail train comes back And rolling my sweet baby's on I know your parents don't like me Won't let me walk through their door They had my life to live over I wouldn't come around here no more Rolling my sweet baby's on Rolling my sweet baby's arm Lay around the shack till the mail train comes back And rolling my sweet baby's arm Yeah, rolling my sweet baby's arm Rolling my sweet baby's arm Lay around the track till the mail train comes back Rolling my sweet baby's arm first knew as a wildlife biologist in town. Um, so he's a scientist, but knowing him at the Hootenanny, he's also a poet and a very good musician. So next up, Doug McWhorter. Thank you very much. I'm usually with Bob on the sitting down versus standing, but uh, tonight I've got a couple friends that are going to join me for the second song, and just didn't feel right sitting down, down while they're standing, so I'm going to try and stand. Um, so this first song, um, recently I've been doing a lot of reading on people traveling through Wyoming, um, you know, pre-settlement, and... Uh, can't do that without learning about folks that were on the Oregon Trail. And uh, it led me to this song. Um, it was written in 1858. Um, 
it just reminded me of my father because when we would get in the car and go on a, a, a trip, he would always sing this song. But I don't remember any of these uh, extra verses. I just thought it was this nice kind of song about a, a sweet young woman, and, and it was kind of a pretty song, but um, it's hilarious. And uh, anyway, especially written about the, the trials of going across the Oregon Trail in the 1850s. Anyway, it's called uh, Sweet Betsy from Pike. Oh, do you remember Sweet Betsy from Pike? Across the broad prairie with her lover Ike. The two yoke of oxen, a big yellow dog, a tall Shanghai rooster and one spotted hog. Singing dang, folly day, doing dang, folly day. One evening, quite early, they camped on the plat. It was next to the road near a green shady flat. Sweet Betsy was tired, down to repose, while I stood gazing at his Pike County rose. Out on the prairie one bright starry night They opened some barrels and Betsy got tight She sang and she screamed and she danced o'er the plains And showed her bare legs to the whole wagon train Well they came to the desert where Betsy gave out and down in the sand she lay rolling about like in great wonder, looked on in surprise, seeing Betsy get up, you'll get sand in your eyes. Well, the alkali desert was burning and bare, and Ike's good heart shrank from the death that lurked there. Dear old Pike County, I'll go back to you, said Betsy, you'll be by yourself if you do. Singing dang, folly died, oh, singing dang, folly day. Well, they swam the wild rivers and they crossed the tall peaks. They camped on the trail for weeks upon weeks. Starvation and sickness, hard work and slaughter. They'll reach California, come hell or high water. Well, the rooster ran off and the cattle all died. And the last piece of bacon this morning was fried. Poor Ike was discouraged. Betsy was mad. The dog drooped his tail and was terribly sad. At last they climbed up on a very high hill and stood looking down at old Placerville. I excited and he said as he cast his eyes down, Sweet Betsy, my darling, you've come to hang town. Old Ike and Sweet Betsy attended a dance, and Ike wore a pair of his Pike County pants. Sweet Betsy dressed up in ribbons and rings, said, Ike, you're an angel. Where are you, wings? Well, a miner asked Betsy, Will you dance with me? I will, you old horse, if you don't get too free. Don't dance me too hard, do you wanna know why? Doggone you, I'm chock full of strong alkali. Long after and sweet Betsy were married, of course. But Ike soon got jealous and wanted divorce. And Betsy, well satisfied, said with a shout, So long, you big lummox, I'm glad you backed out. Singing dang, foldy died, oh, singing dang, foldy day. Old sweet Betsy. Maybe not quite as sweet as I used to think she was. But um, Anyway, Claire and Sasha are going to come up here and help me sing this song that was written by a 
a guy named Charles Scott Boyer. Um, uh, he was in a band called uh, Cowboy. Uh, he never made this song very famous, but uh, other people did. Uh, the most famous is probably um, Eric Clapton recorded it. You want to get over in that one? Yeah. You can put that right there if you want. And we'd never been through this song in its entirety, so um, the first time we even were together to kind of run through it was half an hour ago at the most, so anyway. We were competing with Lil Wayne that was playing at the <laughs> Rose, so yeah. that was... Yeah, nice cop. Yeah. <laughs>
Sasha and Fred. Thank you guys so much. And thank you. All right, that was beautiful. Thanks, Doug and Sasha and Claire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can clap more, that's great. <laughs> Um, next up, we have a duo that is responsible for the large quantity of champagne that I drank on Saturday. <laughs> um, no, really, they made the, the, our Marmots concert happen, which was really a special night. Um, not to talk about that even more, but thanks again. Um, this is Peter and Adrian, um, who can also be described as scientists and poets. <laughs> We know you're out there, we just can't see you. This first song is about elder abuse. It's really serious. When women get to a certain old age, they're invisible. People ignore them. They, they're practically abandoned. It, it's a shame. It has a chorus, you can sing along with it. <laughs> First was an athletic lady named Myrtle who vaulted the top like a steeple chase turtle. But her glasses got but her asses got caught in a stay on her girdle, and nobody knew she was there. So and next to come in was Elizabeth Humphreys. She brought wiggled and squirmed till she was quite comfy. Then she found out she could not get her bum free. Third to come in <clears throat> was Elizabeth Bender, who's doing all right till a vacant fragrant suspender got all tangled up in her feminine gender. Ouch. Nobody knew she was there. And the next to come in was Elizabeth Bickle. She hurdled the door for want of a nickel. One foot in the bowl in a heck of a pickle. Nobody was a woman called Emily Clancy who went in to find out what tickled her fancy. Found to his surprise it was ants in her fancy. Nobody, Nobody knew she was there. And the next was Elizabeth, Elizabeth Mason. The stalls were all full, so she went in the basin. That is the water that you wash your face in. Nobody knew Last was the Bishop of Chichester's daughter, went in to pass off superfluous water. She pulled on the chain and the rising tide caught her. Nobody knew she was there. The janitor came in the early morning.
second song is one I wrote a while ago. It addresses the terrible trauma of homelessness or being unhoused, to be correct. And we don't know the reasons. It could be taxes. It could be uh, income inequity. It, it could be global warming. Who knows? Anyway, this also has a chorus. listen to that first song, and they're both, they're 27 and 30, I don't think they're old. Um, so uh, this next uh, act is a uh, person known to many. There he is, look at him. Very, been very kind to me as I've uh, gotten used to the hoot. Um, Matt Montaigne has got the guitar and the harmonica, and as I understand it, some family in the audience. Matt Montaigne. <laughs> Thank you. 
All righty, I'd like to welcome the Bedfords and some other friends. And did you know that this is being live streamed tonight? Uh, but it's not on YouTube, it's on jhootnanny.org. On YouTube. On YouTube, jhootnanny.org, right? <laughs> okay. So I howdy to my artist friend Jack in Maui and uh, Judy and Josh in Maui. From my artist friend Jack, he says, when you order paint, order a tube of, tube of courage to go with it. And the same thing is true with the Hoot Nanny. Uh, you got to dig into some courage to do this. Um, we can't see very well because of the light, so we've, we've got to light it up here a little bit. Um, we all share something in common, Ben and Keith Sproul and Marshall, um, and that is uh, camp, Teton Valley Ranch camp. And there's a song that uh, we've done there for a long time, long ago, really, uh, All My Life's a Circle, ter uh, Harry Chapin's song. I first did this song in a cathedral in New York with 400 people on Peter Yarrow's handmade guitar That's and cool. learned it from him, which is pretty neat. So we'll see what we can do. And it's, it's a little bit high for singing because I hurt my finger and I can't form the C chord, so I have to pitch it up a little bit. Sunrise and sundown The moon rolls through the night time Till the daybreak comes around All my life's a circle But I can't tell you why The season's spinning round again The years keep rolling by It seems like I've been here before I can't remember when But I got this funny feeling That I'll be back once again There's no straight lines make up my life And all my roads have bends There's no clear-cut beginnings And so far no dead ends All my life's a circle Sunrise and sundown The moon rolls through the night time Till the daybreak comes around All my life's a circle But I can't tell you why The season's spinning round again The years keep rolling by thousand times I guess you've done the same but then we lose each other it's just like the children's game but as I see you here again the thought runs through my mind our love is like a circle let's go round one more join us time here we go all my life's a circle all my life's a circle sunrise Sunrise and sundown The moon, the moon rolls through the night time Till the daybreak, the daybreak comes around All my life's a circle All my life's a circle But I can't tell you why But I can't tell you why The seasons, seasons spinning round again The years keep rolling by One more time in the chorus All my life's a circle Sunrise and sundown The moon rolls through the night time Till the daybreak comes around All my life's a circle But I can't tell you why The season's spinning round again The years keep 
rolling by The season spinning round again The years keep rolling by Thank you. Nice. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Marcia. Alrighty, we're going to do a little, little change up here and... Uh, you know, we, we, uh, I wanted to, this morning I was all jazzed up to real, do a real fast, bouncy song, but these are the ones that kind of came up with the mood today. It's funny that ha how that happens when you're getting ready, you're in a certain kind of mood, and uh, then you, you sort of go, go with the flow with it. This is Bill's teach me how to sing that song twice at the same time. <laughs> Sunrise and Sundown. Got to practice a lot. Okay. Well, this one uh, is uh, one that, this is sort of for Ben why I picked this one and asked him to join me because uh, this is Yellowstone Winds by Bill Staines and we've done it uh, a long time together with Hank Fibbs and Dan Thomasman and uh, many others and uh, just wanted to do it with uh, Ben another time before you guys leave <laughs> and, and thanks Doug and thanks Dave for joining us and please, please sing along if you know it Yellowstone Winds It's shining bright on the Teton range tonight. There's a lonesome cloud that's flying out across the moon. There's a country song so sweet that reaches to the street through the hoots and hollers of an old rundown saloon. Yellowstone winds, well, they're calling me back. Again. Come here to be my friend, they whispered to my soul. I need smoke in the frosty air, cattle grazing all around you there. Snow fields on the mountains, air lies silent in the cold. I can feel the morning sun and see that old snake river run. As she wanders through the <laughs> old hoback's in my dreams as he wanders up his streams and stops to stand the mark beside the trail. Yellowstone winds, weather calling me back again. Come here to me, my friend. Coyote that calls through the steep high country walls as she ranges in the shadows of the trees. With her cunning and her care, prospecting in the air, she searches for a scent upon the breeze. Yellowstone winds, well, they're calling. On the mountains bare lies silent in the cold. There's a star that's shining bright on the Teton range tonight. There's a lonesome cloud that's flying out across the moon. <laughs> Remember that one. <laughs> That'd be that chorus. Yellowstone winds, well, they're calling me back again. Come here to me, my friend, they whisper to my soul. Mighty smoke in the frosty air, cattle grazing all around you. Snow fields on the mountains, fair lie silent. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you, Matt and company. That was awesome. Um, so um, I have to confess, I don't know who this, uh, this next person is, but I have no doubt that uh, it will be awesome. And his name is a, is a terrific name. It's John. John Newman. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm not sure about what this is going to sound like because I've never really um, been up on, on this stage, obviously. But I am. This is the second hoot that I have attended and played at. Um, the first was in March of 18 when I was here to ski and someone sort of persuaded me to go to the dawn. And, and I think it was Bill that actually lent me a dreadnought, a Martin dreadnought. And uh, I played a couple of songs. I don't think they were necessarily appropriate, but I think everybody had fun. Anyway, let's get it sorted out. Um, I'm from London, as you could probably hear. Um, so... A lot of my influences come in the early 70s, but uh, this one, the first song I'm going to play tonight is a Neil Young song from Album of the Year in 1972, you probably all know it, Harvest, but it is an album track that uh, has got lost a little bit down the way, so I hope you'll um, enjoy it. I remember it, maybe, bring back some memories. How does that sound? I'm playing with just finger. Okay, all right. Don't really need this. It's called Out on the Weekend. Me all. 
nerve-wracking than I thought. <laughs> All right, thanks, mate. I do have some support tonight. Thanks, guys. So, uh, the next one had to be from a boy band that came out in the early 60s. And <laughs> I don't have to use a pick or not, but anyway. Is this too much? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, from the Rubber Soul album. It's not often that we can uh, attract uh, acts from across the pond, so I mean, 
pretty awesome. Okay, I can't believe I get to uh, introduce these folks. Uh, as many of you know, there was a, a goodbye celebration on Saturday night here, and hour and a half of marm the marmots, and so I get to introduce them here at the Hoot, and it is my honor to introduce Marmot Ate My Boots. Yay. Where are you? Okay, well, they, they were really good. Okay, here we go. Shady Grove, my little love, Shady Grove, I say, Shady Grove, my 
This is one we've been talking about singing for a long time, and then we're like, oh, no, we can't. It, it's, <laughs> well, you'll see. <laughs> um, I think that's all I could say. Um, it's Old Man Ludicky from the Mar Canadian Maritimes. Anyone know Old Man Ludicky? Okay, cool. Well, you're going to find out. Yeah. Those were all silent nods, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> in A, right? In A, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That'll be actually started. Because it is a play on words of yodeling. It, all right, all right, I'm back. Hey, everybody. Yikes, I've been put on a, a mild pitch clock by the powers that be because we got a lot of performance left to roll on. Um, so that was Marmonate My Boots. Who was at that show on Saturday night? Yeah, it was, do it was dope. It was awesome. Um, these next two performers are associated the world over with also being awesome and being very cool people and being very uh, what we all strive to be someday. Um, so please welcome to the stage uh, Rob and Tasha. Come on down, Rob and Tasha. Yes. Marshall for the fabulous introduction. You're closer than you think. If I had a boat, 
be single Couldn't make myself to marry an old ale It'd just be me and Trigger We'd go riding through the movies And we'd buy a boat and on the sea we'd sail If I had a boat, I'd go out on the ocean And if I had a pony, I'd ride him on my boat we could all together go out on the ocean, send me upon my pony on my boat. Now the mystery mess man was smart. He got himself a Tonto, cause Tonto did the dirty work for free. But Tonto, he was smarter, one day said Kimo Sabe, kiss my ass, I bought a boat and I'm going out to sea. So if I had a boat, I'd go out on the ocean. If I had a pony, I'd ride him on my boat. I wouldn't need no sneakers but I'd come and go wherever I would please And I'd scare him by the shade tree And I'd scare him by the light pole But I would not scare my pony on my boat out on the sea And if I had a boat, I'd go out on the ocean If I had a pony, I'd ride him on my boat And we could all together Go out on the ocean, set me upon my pony on my boat. Set me upon my pony on my boat. You know, I usually uh, pay enough attention to not sing a song, two songs in the same key, but. Tonight I just was like, I'm singing those two songs. I don't care if they're in the same key. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. Don't have much money. Boy, if I did. Buy a big house where we both could live If I was a sculptor But then again, no For a man who makes potions in a traveling show I know it's not much, but it's best I can do my gift is my song and this one's for you and you can tell everybody this is your song it may be quite simple but now that it's done hope you don't mind I hope you don't mind that I put down in words They've got me quite cross But the sun's been quite kind While I wrote this song It's for people like you that Keep it turned on So excuse me for getting But these things I do 
see I've forgotten if they're green or they're blue. Well, you know, the thing is, what I really mean, yours are the sweetest eyes I've ever seen. And you can tell everybody this is your song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is on your end of the world. I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is. While you're in the world You know, it's okay to sing two songs in the key of A Excuse me because there's so many good darn songs in the key of A. Well done, Rob and Tasha, hey, yo. Um, yeah, you are welcome to clap, that is okay. <laughs> nice, great. Uh, great things come in pairs, like pairs. Um, and these next two people are also a pair. Please welcome to the stage, Sally and Jenny. Come on down. to follow there. <laughs> We're also doing a song in the key of A. Can I lower that a little bit? I forgot my hat. I'm so sad. <laughs> Those lights are bright. <laughs> and our friend Mark Engels joining us. Oh, you got this shade? <laughs> I don't know if that works or not. <laughs> oh, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to know these words. Very many of them. Um, we're doing another Gillian Welch song this week, so this is from her um, Boots Number no. Two, The Lost Songs. So, uh, anyway, it's like this. Okay. 
Mr. Mark Engel. Swappy. Maybe I see the words well enough to sing them all correctly. You putting that up a little bit higher. Rest of the pages. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Oh. Except that I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're taking up two. <laughs> oh, we're not moving furniture, oh, wait, though. I got it, I got it. We're not moving the furniture. <laughs> this is John Hyatt. All right.
One more time for Sally and Jenny, featuring the fabulously fiddling Mark Engel, Sally's jovial jeans, and Jenny's swaggy sunglasses. I guess I missed a lot of alliterative opportunities there, but it was close. So we'll try it on this next performer. Um, we've missed this person the last couple of weeks um, from what I re just recently realized was a bout with the sea. So could you please welcome to the stage the sensational song slinging, string sweeping, sailor, Byron Tomingus, come on down. <laughs> he also has wonderful shirts every week. You can buy them on Amazon. <laughs> I was doing nautical naughty stuff, <laughs> bailing buckets, that sort of thing, not fun. Oh, I've been so scared the last week or two, scared to death that I would do this song. It's so iconic with a particular singer who is so precision and, you know, and I must be absolutely out of my mind to do this. Chances are Cause I wear a silly grin The moment you come in to view Chances are you think that I'm in love And just because my composure sort of slips the moment you lips touch mine, chances are you think my heart's your valentine. In the magic of the moonlight, I can't hold you close to you. Chances are you think the stars and the moon are in my eyes. Guess you think you'll always be the one and only one for me. But if you think you should Chances are you think Awfully good Yes, you feel you'll always be one and only one for me. And if you think you should, chances are your chances are awfully good. What well, chances are your chances are?
I think I'll do something that has a one-note lead part on it. Okay. And something a little easier to do. done, Byron. Well done. You know, I've been at less than 2% of the hoot nannies of all time. Um, it just is the way it is. But I got to be here at the exact same time we got to see Byron Tomingus play and sing jazz tunes in the Pink Garter Theater, which is a wonderful thing. So thank you, Byron. Well done. Um, by the way, another big plug for the Pink Garter Theater. Um, we're just super lucky to be here and super lucky to be playing here in April um, with the Hoot Nanny. So if you see Andrew Munns, give him a big shout out. If you uh, are going to be back here next week, don't forget your five bucks so we can keep this place rolling uh, for this community that needs a place like this. So thank you once again, Pink Garter Theater. Thank you once again, Byron Tomingus. And thank you very shortly to Will Pryor for gracing the stage with your presence. Come on down, Will Pryor. Let's go. Thank you, whoever that was. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. And thank you, Marshall. Oh, man. I didn't get any exercise today, and I'm a bundle of questionable energy. <sighs> but I just needed to do some deep breathing we're coming up and luckily the blissful performances of Byron and Sally and Ginny were very conducive to that so thank you and the wonderful fiddle fills from Mark um, I just have a couple of short covers this week I don't believe I've played them this season so calling them fair game uh, the first one is a Dylan song that um, I think I played in the summer, and I played it kind of like the recording, but um, it's one of the first songs I learned to play, and I kind of always played it like this, so.
Baby, let me follow you down Honey, let me follow you down You know I'd do anything in this God almighty world If you just let me follow you down Buy you a diamond ring Oh, I buy you a diamond ring Honey, if you just let me follow you down I think I'd do about it Honey, can I come home with you? Honey, can I come home with you? You know I'd do anything in this God Almighty world if you just let me come home with you. Thank you. Missed that last chord. I don't know if John Newman is still here, but I really enjoyed your tasteful harmonica playing. I played last week, and I kind of just play it really brashfully, if that's a word. I'm going to try to emulate you with this one. Maybe tone it down a little bit.
Why not one more verse? Broken bluesy whisper sing me tonight. Hey Louisiana, she's with me tonight. So everybody wants to go forever. I just want to burn up heart and cry. I just want to be your firecracker and maybe be your baby tonight. Maybe be your baby So our next performer is a lady duo. Um, so one used to work at the Wart when I first started playing there, and I never knew that she sang until one day she sang at the Hoot Nanny on a waitressing shift at the Wart. And literally she opened her mouth and I had tears in, down my face. I'm like, all right, Claire and Sasha. <laughs> better than making someone cry, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but there's like, you know, there, that's like the only time. Anyway. <laughs> this is a song called Papa Was a Rodeo by the Magnetic Fields. It's kind of jokey and it's kind of not. It's kind of, I'm kind of like, what does this even mean? We told um, you. What? Like a geisha. Sorry, everyone.
guitar and rope a steer before I learned to stand. Home was anywhere with diesel gas, love was a trucker's hand. Never stuck around long enough for a one night stand. First ever time playing an original song at the Hoot. Um, it's about that time of year that we're currently in when you're like, oh my God, it's been 60 degree degrees two days in a row. And then it snows for five days. And thus also it is about seasonal affective disorder and how it all coincides. Woo, shout out. Cool. All right. It's called The Season When You Hated Everything. It's a lullaby for people with seasonal depression.
Thank you, Joe, for your guitar. Beautiful ladies, awesome job. All right, our next performer. Um, there's another lady duo. However, I'm not. I don't know much about Allie on here. However, <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> Sophia's got a cute little voice and sometimes has a guitar, sometimes has a mandolin, knows how to play both of them pretty darn well. Um, welcome Sophia and Allie to the stage. <laughs> hey folks. <laughs> uh, me, Allie. <laughs> She's uh, living over in Lander right now. <laughs> I'm on vacation. <laughs> I'm on vacation. <laughs> Okay. Um, Allie is the best sport in the world. She drove four or five hours today, got out of her car, got into my car, and I said, you're going to perform in front of an audience tonight. <laughs> <laughs> fun, fun. So, um, this is the first time? Okay. Great sport, great sport. Uh, we're going to do multiple Dixie Chick songs, so <laughs> strap in. <laughs> Today's past day. 
she gave him a smile and he said, would you mind sitting down for a while and talking to me? I'm feeling a little low. She said, I'm off in an hour and I know where we can go. So they went down and they sat on the pier. He said, I bet you got a boyfriend, but I mind if I send one right back here to you? I cry, never gonna hold the hand of another guy, too young for him, they told her, waiting for the love of a traveling soldier, our love will never end, waiting for the soldier to come back again, never more to be alone, when the letter said, Soldiers coming home. So the letters came from an army camp in California, then Vietnam. And he told her of his heart, it might be love, and all the things that he was so scared of. She said, Let's get running back and forth. All right, our next performer is the person who we know as
the magical low country voice of the Hootenanny. Let's welcome Alan Morton to the stage. All right, I'm going to try one uh, from the magic of Facebook. This song showed up. I haven't heard it for 25 years. Uh, my sister used to make uh, documentary films in Kentucky, and uh, one side of the business did films, and the other side did recordings, and this group was recording with the Apple Shop, Appalachian Film Workshop, um, called the Goose, Goose Creek Symphony, and this song's called Right Track. Well, I don't care if the water's not too clear today. I'd like to talk a while, my friend, but I'll just have a drink and be on my way. Gotta keep moving, whoa, I can't waste no time. Cause it's been so long since I've been home. Gotta get back and get my head on the right track. On the right track. Keep on pushing some. No more All my friends They tell me Try just one more time But I'm tired of laying my head on the line To break the twine And take everything That I thought was mine Thought was mine This old road That I've been traveling down some help up on this one. I think Sasha's going to come down. Mark. And this is band practice because we haven't played it at all. But I told him it was in C. They said, well, if Al is playing, it's probably not that hard. No. So. <laughs> it has two chords. Uh, C and F. Somebody told me when I came to 
Thanks, Sasha. Appreciate it. Man, I don't know why I don't I don't ever do the whole introduction parts because I kind of like making things up about you folks out there. <laughs> so our next performer is what who I call the the crooner with a great sense of humor, a showman attitude, and a prince's hair. <laughs> Marshall Cherry. Hey, I'm, I'm, this uh, next set is brought to you by Head and Shoulders 2 and 1. Head and Shoulders 2 and 1, come on down at your local Smith's grocery store. I'd like to invite some friends up to the stage here, and if you thought you were going to get out of this, of this evening, you guys can come up right now, um, and thought you weren't going to sing tonight, that's tough, because we're going to do that. So we're going to divide the uh, audience into two halves. If you're sitting on the lower level, below the Presidian, raise your uh, hand real fast. You're group one. And up top, if you're in the stands, you're gonna be group two, okay? Raise your hand if you're in group two. Yeah, I see you TSS people. Let's go. I see you, Tasha, I see you, Rob. All right, we're gonna uh, demonstrate how this is gonna go. This, this song is very simple. It only has three chords in it, and two of them are C and minor and G, but the last one is a C that's gonna pop out of nowhere. And now we're gonna practice. So I'm going to sing the fifth, and then the first row, you're going to sing the tonic, and the back row, you're going to sing the third. <laughs> Excellent. That's perfect. We're going to get right to it, and when, when the time comes, you're going to know what to do, all right? Are we feeling good? Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Old cowpoke went riding out one dark and windy day. Upon a ridge he rested as he went along his way. Then all oh, at once somebody heard of a red-eyed cow as he saw plowing through the ragged sky. And up the cloudy draw. Perfect, that's well done. Their brands were still on fire and their hooves were made of steel. Their horns were black and shiny and their hot breath he could feel. And the bolts of fear went through him as they thundered through the sky. For he saw the riders coming hard. As they ride on here they cry. yippee i -A. The skies, palm view. Their faces gaunt, their eyes were blurred, their shirts all soaked with sweat. They're riding hard to catch that herd, but they ain't caught them yet. Boy, they got to ride forever in that range up in the sky on horses snorting fire. As they ride on here, they cry. The ghost riders in the skies but Loped on by him, he heard one call his name. Hey, Charles. You want to save your soul from the devil riding on our range? Then, cowboy, change your ways today, or with us you will ride. Trying to catch the devil's herd. 
across these endless skies. Yippee-yi-yi. Thank you. Nice job. Well, well done, well done. Well done, well done. Are we still on the two song quotient or are we just going one and done? Two song quotient, okay. Very well. Um, this is the discount cowboy set slash western set because I'm a very discount cowboy as I'm wearing my jeans and my socks and tevas here. Um, and following Alan Morton, which makes you look very wannabe-ish country. This song is actually not a country song, but I kind of feel like it could be one, so I'm going to sing it like that. Um, it's called, It's Good to Be Alone. Because what is a country song without driving somewhere in a vehicle, whether it's animate or inanimate, and uh, feeling sad about a love you lost, you know? <laughs> Looking out my rear view mirror The miles behind don't disappear like they used to When I was with you However hard I hit the gas The engine don't run half as fast as it once did kids all of the good old days are gone still this life keeps rolling on on and on yeah it's good to be alone I want to call you on the phone after a month out on the road yeah no one to tell you welcome home no one to scratch you down your back No one to cut you any slack You got to scratch it on your own, yeah Yeah, it's good to be alone The mountain tops don't stand so high the open road ain't quite as wide as it once seemed Yeah, when we had the same dream The evening stars don't shine so bright And we don't make love through the night like we once did Yeah, those nights are fading all of the good old days are gone Still this life keeps rolling on, on and on Yeah, it's good to be alone No one to call you on the phone After a month out on the road, yeah No one to tell you welcome home No one to scratch you down your back no one to cut you any slack You got to scratch it on your own, yeah Yeah, it's good to be alone 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 Scratch it on your own, yeah. Yeah, it's good to be alone. Thank you very much. All right, our next performer I have not known long enough to be making up stuff about. However, I did spy him on the stage at the wart, right? Banging on that sexy red keys, jazz, and everything. So, you know, he, he is a multi instrumentalist. Charles DeMagno, is that how I say it? Yeah, DeMagno. 
de Magno. Awesome, thank you. Um, this first song is, I think, originally a Bob Dylan song, but then Jeff Buckley covered it, and now I'm doing it now, so. Can't remember how it goes. Perhaps it is the color of the sun caught flat and covering. The crossroad I'm standing at. Oh, maybe it's the weather or something like that. Mama, you've been on my mind. I mean no trouble, please. Don't put me down. Don't get upset. I am not pleading. All saying I can't forget you I do not pace the floor or bow down in bed But yet Mama, you've been on my mind I am not asking you to say words Like yes or no, please understand me There is no place I'm calling you Whispering it to myself so I can pretend that I don't know that Mama, you've been on my mind When you wake up in the morning, baby, look outside your mirror. You know I won't be next to you. You know I won't be near. I'd just be curious to know if you could see yourself as clear as someone who has had you on his mind. Thank you. This is the part where Sophia comes up and steals the show, so. <laughs> um, I'm sure, I know a couple of you out there from, are from Michigan, like Marshall and myself. But uh, for those of you who might be uh, closeted Michiganders, this one's for you too.
not announced like you'd expect it. I broke down brake lines and old town wrecks. And all that's left is a blind reflection. And all what's coming at you regret it. But when she called, down to the last act before we close up the night and it just happens to be one of my favorite guys here um, he is a great guitar player a fiddle player uh, we probably hand other instruments to him and he'll play it just fine you put him on skis and he'll go really really fast and Mark Engel <laughs> Sasha and Claire to come play a song with me and uh, and on the second song we're gonna do whiskey before breakfast so any, anybody that knows the song you come on up Marmot Rob and uh, um, I'm teaching some guitar lessons and I'm teaching a, a, a young dude and he wanted to learn this song. And I remembered, wow, this is a cool, this is a cool song, something I really wanted to learn when I was learning guitar. So I'm gonna see if we can hit all the words here. Um, can I go in the middle? And can you help me? Can you help me scroll? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Chance to die. When it's killing me, what do I really need? All I need to 
look inside Hey, oh, listen what I say Come back and hey, oh, listen what I say broken down I'm ripping it up I'm gonna ring it up just to hear you sing it out step from the road to the sea to the sky and I do believe that we rely on when I lay it on come get the play it on all my life to sacrifice Thank you. That's such a fun song. Um, all right. Come on up, everybody. Let's rock this fiddle tune. Wow. Just give me the background. I'm going to do some, I'm going to sing some of this song. Yes. And uh, the sing part goes yeah. part A and then two part B. Um, can we pick it together to start? Saw two. 
bottle between them, and this was a song that I heard them singing. Lord, preserve us, save and protect us. We've been drinking whiskey for breakfast. Well, Lord, preserve us, save and protect us. We've been drinking whiskey for where they were sitting and I couldn't believe how drunk they were getting I said old man have you been drinking too long they said just enough to be singing this song Lord preserve us saints protect us we've been drinking whiskey for breakfast well Lord preserve us saints protect us we've been drinking whiskey for breakfast And it felt so good that I just couldn't quit I drank some more and the next thing I knew There were three of us singing there, sitting this tune Lord, preserve the saints, protect us We've been drinking whiskey for breakfast Well, Lord, preserve the saints, protect us We've been drinking whiskey for breakfast
One by one, everybody in town, they heard our ruckus and they all came down. Soon all the streets were ringing with the sound of the whole town laughing and singing. Lord, preserve us, saints, protect us, we've been drinking whiskey for breakfast. Lord, preserve us, saints, protect us, we've been drinking whiskey for breakfast. Hang tight. My mistake. Mark is not the last person on the list. The list that I had was incomplete. Uh, we saved one of our best for last. Uh, where is he? Joe Hunt has been working very hard to man the concession stand out there and help Andrew Munns run this venue. And I'd like to also thank Andrew for hosting us for this month and supporting the local music. Without further ado. Perhaps that would have been a better closer than what I have. Traces, you were up all night. You went to bed in your darkest mind. You've changed. Oh, you've changed. fell in love in the key of sea we walked along by the sea of change you followed me Something in my veins, bloodier than blood. 
something in my veins, bloodier than blood. Thank you. From your sleep, the drain of your tears today. We escape, we escape. Keep breathing Can't do it alone Before you fall, the heat says, before all hell breaks loose. And say, us a song, a song to keep us warm.
for being here and supporting local music. Thank you, Andrew Munz, for hosting us. Thank you, everybody, for playing. Hopefully, we'll see you again next week. Don't forget your five.